Let's take a look how I made this custom bubble text here in Illustrator. And after that, we're also gonna inflate it. All right, so first I'm gonna select the type tool, type in something, press Ctrl Shift plus Alt, scale it. And let's go and right click on the text, create outlines, a right click on group. And what I'm gonna do is basically rearrange the letters, something like this to create a really nice composition out of them. And as you can see, these letters are too thin and the bubble letters are going to be pretty thick. So what I'm gonna do is select all and add some stroke on it. I'm also gonna recolor the stroke to light gray and I'm gonna rearrange them again. You also can rotate it if you want. And for example, I'm gonna make the letter A smaller. You can select the direct selection tool and just select some of the parts of the letters and extend it, you know, just to see how it's gonna look. So after you are done, select all the letters and press control plus number two. Or you can go to the object and go to lock and click on select. So this way it's going to lock the shapes. Now I'm gonna go and select the pencil, pencil tool. You can double click on it and increase the smoothness to 100%. I'm gonna go with these settings, click OK. And from here, let's go to the stroke and the fill, click on the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke, so it's gonna be on the top. And I'm gonna recolor it to black. And I'm just gonna start drawing over these letters. And you should connect at this point. If you don't like the result, you can press Ctrl Z and do it again. Until you're gonna get satisfied, you can select the anchor points, you know, and just customize them. I'm gonna speed this up and draw every each. And of course, for this particular style, I'm going to draw all these letters super close to each other. So as you can see, some of these letters are not even connected. So for example, I'm gonna select the letter E and I'm gonna click on the join. So it's gonna join these anchor points, but it's gonna leave this ugly crossing line. So I'm gonna press Shift plus M, or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool and press and hold Alt and just draw on this crossing area so it's going to delete it. I'm gonna do the same with the rest as well. You also can select one of these anchor points and just put it on each other, select both anchor points and click on the join. So this is going to connect the anchor points. So after you are done, I'm gonna go to the layers and open it up and I'm gonna hide these layers with the original letters. Let's go back to the properties and we're gonna need to stylize these. I'm gonna select the first letter and let's go to the object path and select smooth. Now the smooth option is only available starting in Illustrator 2024. Select it and pull the handle and this is going to make it even more rounded and remove some of the anchor points to make it look more perfect. Now I'm going to select the letter A and do the same thing, repeat the process and so on and so forth. It's very important to remove the unnecessary anchor points. I'm going to even remove more and after you are done, you can go and stylize the letters one by one. I'm going to select the direct selection tool and select the anchor points and try to customize them better. For example, this one is broken. I'm going to select this anchor point, go to convert, make it rounded. Now, as you can see, we got some stuff going on. We've got like two anchor points. So I'm going to select the delete anchor point, press and hold shift, click on it. Now I'm going to select the direct selection tool, select this anchor point, make it rounded. If it won't make it rounded, then you can go and select the anchor point tool and just drag it. There's a lot of stuff to correct on this, but at least now you know how to correct it. What I'm going to do with the letter A is basically connect it with the letter P and try to bring them really, really close. I want to overlap the lines. You also can press Ctrl plus Y. So this is going to show the highlights so you know exactly what you're doing. I'm also going to delete this unnecessary anchor point. I'm going to go and select the delete anchor point tool, press and hold shift, click on the anchor point and it's going to remove it but still remain the line rounded. So mainly this is the fun part, remove the unnecessary anchor points and make everything rounded. Let's speed up the process. All right, so after you're done with the stylization phase, by the way, this took me like four hours to stylize it. Now you can go and select all the letters and we're gonna swap it from stroke to fill. And I'm also going to need to check that these areas are not overlapping on each other. So I'm gonna increase the distance a little bit also on the letter E and the letter N. So what I'm gonna do is select all. Let's go to the object, path and select offset path. And I'm gonna go and decrease the offset. I'm gonna go with minus one. So this is going to increase the distance in between the letters. Click OK. And I'm going to go and select the top letters, press and hold Shift, select all of them. And I'm going to bring them down and I'm going to delete the top ones. So as you can see, now we've got some really nice distance in between the letters. Now I'm going to select every letter again, go to the object, path and select offset path again. And now let's go and increase the offset. I'm going to go somewhere around 15, click OK. 
And now I'm going to select the smaller ones, press and hold shift, select all of them, right click, let's select group, let's go and recolor them. Now I'm going to select the pink text, let's go to the 3D materials and click on inflate. I'm also going to activate the ray tracing and I'm going to go to the materials, scroll down here, increase the metallic and I'm going to decrease the roughness a little bit more. Let's go to the lighting and I'm going to push the lighting out, something like this. And I'm going to scroll down, activate the shadows. You also can increase the resolution, go here, high and select raster settings, increase it to medium, click OK and click on render. And this is how you create bubble text and inflate it here in Illustrator. Thanks for watching.